This video shows you how to create manual entries in your accounts called journals. We're going to see what a journal is, we're going to see how to enter a journal, and we're going to see how to save a journal template. In fact, all entries in Bright Pearl accounts are considered journals. A journal is simply a set of debits and credits. Sometimes we call them transactions. When you raise a sales invoice, a journal of type SI is created. When you pay that invoice, an SR or a sales receipt is created. On the general ledger report, you can see all the journals that make up your accounts. For a full explanation of Bright Pearl Accounting, take a look at the video Introduction to Bright Pearl Accounting. A word of warning if you don't fully understand bookkeeping principles and how Bright Pearl Accounting works, then don't create accounting journals manually. Let your bookkeeper do it. The journal entry screen, which you get to from Accounting Enter Journal, lets you enter your own custom journals. Maybe you want to transfer a balance from one account code to another. Let's say that we want to record depreciation of an asset. Let's choose a date, enter a description for the transaction, and then for depreciation you won't use channel, lead source or contact ID. We'll put a debit on the depreciation expense account, which goes onto your profit and loss report, and a credit of the same amount onto the balance sheet account, which we call accumulated depreciation. Manual journals generally should not involve tax, so leave the tax code is not rated, or T9 in the UK. Saving the journal enters it into the accounts and gives you a journal reference which you can write on any relevant paperwork. If you find yourself entering the same journal regularly, then instead of saving it directly into the accounts as we've just done, enter a journal template name. This saves it as a template. Next time, just click to load it up, tweak the numbers, and change the date, and then save it to create a new journal. When you enter a journal, make sure you follow these accounting rules. The contact ID should only be present on journals created by Bright Pearl, so don't enter contact IDs into the journal. Values on the tax control accounts 2200 and 2201 must have a tax code. You can't have T9 or not rated. Don't use journals to work with customers or suppliers. Use quick invoices, bills, and standard payment allocation to clear accounts receivable or accounts payable balances. That's given you an introduction to creating journals in Bright Pearl. If you need to make changes to existing journals, take a look at the video all about cancelling or correcting accounting journals. It's also worth having a look at the introduction to Bright Pearl Accounting to fully understand what's going on. And that takes us to the end of the video all about journals and journal templates.